Fun thing is, when this game was released, it was the latest part in the timeline, and it was before um, Other M existed. But canonically, timeline-wise, Samus has fought Nightmare before, during the events of Other M. And... Yeah, the Nightmare has definitely messed up this place. So let us continue on this path. We have a broken wall there, but we can just head straight down and into the water. Apparently, even the Cebatites have some kind of way to survive underwater. So we can get up there uh, using regular jumps. And we need a speed boost to get through here. Well, with the fact that we are moving this sluggishly underwater, yeah, I am not so sure that. We can activate speed booster in this situation. So we're just going to go through this place here. So this is supposed to be the Arctic sector, but we have a lot of water here. Um, my theory is that when um, Nightmare started to wreak havoc on this place, it essentially melted the ice. So originally there was ice here, now there's water. Uh, I want to say this is speed boost. Yes. So there's a lot of stuff here that we need full maneuverability in water for. All right, there is something in here, so let's just power bomb. Which was the right choice. Power bomb tank. Okay, I wanna say Okay, I thought this was gonna be a research room and a save room back to back. Oh, wait, I'm dumb. It actually is, but in a different way. Because if you head on up this way, I believe this leads to a recharge room. It does not. But that's very ominous. Yep, we have fall through blocks right in front of us. First grab this energy tank, and then fall down into this junkyard room, and out of the floor he rises. Say hi to probably the most memorable bosses in terms of Nightmare Fuel. Nightmare. In this first phase, he is only vulnerable on this little motor here. So just pump them full of missiles. And after a couple of hits, he will start jinxing with the gravity. As you can see, missiles still work, but he needs to get really close. For this part, go for, uh, for charged plasma beams. And keep going until the motor starts flashing. There we go. So once that explodes, we enter the next phase. Oh god, he has a face only a mother could love. 
So I don't know if there's any real way to avoid taking unnecessary damage to him here. All I can say is just pump him full with as much missiles as possible. And then when it starts moving around, use that space jump to its fullest potential. But eventually, we destroy him, and he is forced to retake the X core shape. It's a bit easier to avoid uh, in this shape, of course, since he doesn't have a giant freaking hitbox. Oh god. Why did I open my mouth? Ah, come on! Uh, I'll meet you guys back there when we're basically just at the X core. Okay, folks, we're back. Nice to blaze through, and blaze through that a bit faster this time. And there we go. Gravity suit effect recovered. Move freely in water. Okay, we get a bit more of a pleasing um, look for Samus. I am definitely a fan of the fusion uh, gravity suit. And yeah, just like it says, we can now move freely under uh, in water. So. Yeah, and try it as I might on that uh, second fight with Nightmare. I couldn't for the life of me dodge him when he started moving. I know it should be possible, it's just it's probably really goddamn rough to do so. So I guess that's that yeah, pretty much. All right, so gravity suit effect absorbed. Proceed to the navigation room. So yeah. Dodging underwater, it's going to be a lot easier, plus we can actually use the speed booster. And that means that we can finally head on uh, this way. I just need to murder people so I can have some more space. Uh, of course you have to give me Merman. Yeah, damn it, I'm not even playing Castlevania. <laughs> so, just going to dash through here. And that takes us straight here to um, Sector 4. And a part of Sector 4 we haven't even been to. We have literally bypassed um, that one part where we fell down and found a red hatch. That's basically where we are right now, so we found a way to bypass that. And that is surely something. And we have this massive place to explore. This whole part of Sector 4 that lay just beyond what we had access to. Anyway, we can just grab onto an invisible ledge there and get that power bomb upgrade. Alright, let's. Oof. 
almost dodged, almost got hit by that. Of course, his friend had to remedy that fact. Ah. Ooh. I am so happy I got that one. There we go, missile tank. That's what we came here for. So we're just going to be speeding along here. I uh, think where we want to go is down this way. And if I recall... Yes. We can go just beyond uh, the refines of the mapped area here. We can power bomb here to bypass that little security hatch there. Sadly, we are once more blocked by a security hatch. So we have to find another way to sneak by all that. By essentially going through this little morph ball bomb maze, which should be Instantly familiar to fans of Metroid because the game series has, or, I'm sorry, the game franchise has quite a few of these. Hmm. Okay, then it was actually down here. Oh wait, I'm an idiot. You have a sneak you have a sneaky little path through there. I think we have a similar sneaky little path through there, yes. And once more, let's break the rules and unlock level four security. Else we are not getting out of here. Uh Adam is gonna be furious. It's not going to like the fact that we have basically fully opened up this place to the X. Then again, if the SAX is that freaking powerful, then, you know, it shouldn't need us to get through the security hatchets. Technically, it should be able to just break all these hatches. Seeing as the thing is freaking Samus at her most powerful. Oh, great. Oh, great. This is just fantastic. Give me those. Give. Thank you. Okay, up we go. And deal with you. All right. Let's keep climbing upwards. And I want to say these should be... No, they're not. All right. What here is breakable? This is. And we have a save room right here. Perfect. Very nice. Very nice. So I think we will have just enough time to grab a little thing that was um, mentioned to us previously as well as get to learn what we need to do and of course be scolded by computerized Adam oh joy I can barely wait 
No, there's no way for us to get through there. However, I believe... Yeah, that's speed booster. I believe we should be able to get through there if we just... Yeah. We will be able to. So, speed booster through here. Go through this door. Speed booster through all those enemies. And we're just gonna say, screw you guys, I can jump inf uh, infinitively. I have an infinite jump. It's like uh, when you play Mario 64 on an emulator and you enable the moon jump. Oh no, wait, that's Ocarina of Time. I used to do that on when I got bored. Which, uh, with Ocarina of Time for me, happened a lot. Like, the game is great and all, but god damn it, I got really bored of it sometimes. So, this is pretty interesting. Missiles. And this isn't Samus Returns, so we can't angle the missiles. So, we sneak in here and we grab the final missile upgrade, the diffusion missile. Diffusion added to missiles, charge with R and fire with B. So once you have this little pulsing circle, press the B button, it takes one missile, and it basically makes a freezing effect for the entire room. Perfect for uh, freezing a bunch of enemies in their place, especially if the enemies are unpassable, if they puff up like they did in a previous room. But it can also be used to get into areas like this, where we have a sneaky little pass-through that leads us to Sector 6, the Nocturnal Sector. However, there's nothing we can do here without another toy. But that place should be uh, recognizable. It's basically at the start of the uh, Nocturnal Sector. Anyway, uh, we've been going on for long enough. I feel like we're at a good stopping point. So let's actually be good for once and go to the navigation room and let's be ready for the scolding of a lifetime. Hell yes! Of course, we could just go back down there and grab whatever, whatever's there, but... Uh, I don't feel like it. Like I said, I wasn't going for every single pickup, basically. And my gamepad is dying, so that's fun. And of course, I will do a save state after the recording. So, you upgraded your missiles that's unusual there's no word from HQ a procedural error I'm sure even so I did not approve of bypassing security level 4 from now on you will use more discretion in any case Samus do you remember the security robot uh, that you faced earlier I believe the X have infected it it is to say they have claimed the organic components <laughs> that form its neural network. It has entered Sector 6 Nocturnal. I don't know what it's planning, but let's not wait to find out. Samus, you know what to do. Is your objective clear? To Sector 6, quickly. Next time, 
we're heading for Sector 6, which might be the final recording session I do for this game. Because I think we have played this for roughly... Yeah, a bit over three hours, so I think a two-hour recording session next time should be just what we need. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time for some more Metroid Fusion, where we're going to stop that security robot and do a bit more. So, I'll see you then.